Hey everybody, this is Mike in Peoria, and today we're going to build a Murphy bed. The purpose of this video is an overview, showing you what it takes, what you have to buy, what you need to build a Murphy bed. This is a create a bed kit. I bought it off of Amazon and I got it because the reviews looked good. The cost was about 300 bucks. This is everything that comes in the kit. First off, um, there are two uh, foot supports there at the bottom of the bed when you pull it out, one on the left and one on the right. They're connected by a board. They hide away when you're not using it. Then there are two of these lower plates, one for each side of the bed. In addition to that, next up, there are two upper plates. Now a lower plate and an upper plate are the two uh, items on the flip side of that. There's a little ball. It um, connects the piston. What I have there is the kind of the hinge mechanism, I guess you could say, or pivot mechanism. There's one for each side of the bed. One attaches to the the frame that the mattress sits on and the other attaches to the side walls. Next, uh, when the bed lifts up, there's a couple of these little bumpers. They're, they're basically the same thing you'd see in an office that stops a door from hitting the wall. And there are two of those and placed right, they, they work perfectly and stop the bed. Next up, we have, uh, they're kind of wedged in there, we have two pistons, uh, one for the left side, one for the right side, and the, uh, the thick part uh, goes up. Each end of that, one attaches to an upper plate, one attaches to a lower plate. They give you a couple pieces of, an el of elastic, they go around the bottom and hold the mattress on. And then there are two bags of uh, hardware that you need, and I had just what I needed in the bag, no more, no less. Now the kit doesn't come with wood. You're going to have to source that yourself. What you need are four sheets of three quarter inch plywood. In my case, I used maple and they were about 50 bucks a piece. So that was about $200. Then you need a couple of sheets of quarter inch plywood. And that's what the mattress lays on. There's quite a bit of waste out of, out of uh, all the plywood. So um, the quarter inch plywood cost me uh, about 15 bucks a sheet. And then you're going to need some one by material. You're going to need about a dozen um, one by twos. Uh, what I did is I cut the one by twos out of one by sixes so I could find better material. All in, you probably want to budget about 300 bucks for you know, wood and ancillary uh, hardware that you'll need, like, you know, screws and uh, door handles to pull the bed down. Okay, I cut all the uh, three-quarter inch plywood uh, off camera, and you can kind of see this is, this is everything you need. These are all the cuts for the three-quarter inch material. I've got the three-quarter inch material that goes around the bed, on the floor, the side rails, the top rail, the bottom rail. Uh, on the far right, the two big pieces, that's what you see. There will be handles on those and you pull down. The bed frame sits on top of, of those. And then the, the boards on the left, the tall ones are the sides of the cabinet that the bed folds up into. The next two that are shorter but a little wider are the headboard and the top of the cabinet and the two pieces on the left are the kind of trim pieces, if you will, that go across the, the top of the cabinet. The first step in building this bed is constructing the one by two inner frame that the mattress will sit on and that you'll pull down. It's made out of the one by twos, and again, I cut these and assembled it off camera. There are five cross beams. This helps give it some stability and uh, one by twos on the side. Now the cross beams, the L-shaped, they're not only screwed in several places going across, they are glued as well. So this is kind of, kind of the beginning carcass and step one for assembly. Okay, now it's time to uh, work on the sides of the bed platform and the uh, top and the bottom. Now the first thing I'm doing here is I'm uh, drilling holes to the top of the L-shaped piece on the on the bottom of the bed, uh, doing a little sanding just to get the little uh, chip out at the bottom out of the way, so it's a nice tight fit. 
Now, the way the instructions have this, and I think it's a great idea, uh, and they also suggest that you use uh, uh, clamps, which I'm doing. It takes a minute to find the right set of clamps for it. But um, they have you screw the sides on from the inside out so you don't see any screw heads. You don't have anything to finish or cover. And I think that is a, a pretty good idea. So I've got the bottom rail uh, on. I should say one other thing here at this point. When I cut all these boards, I was meticulous in measuring and double checking and making sure I had the right dimensions. They stress that in the directions. And as the bed comes together, the more accurate you, accurate you are, the better the whole thing fits together. And I, I was actually pretty happy with it. So I'm getting this bottom piece on here now, and in a, in a, in a second we'll uh, uh, flip it around and head towards the, uh, do the top piece. Now we'll repeat the process and do the, um, okay. Okay, now we'll repeat that same process, just sliding down and doing the uh, head piece. I'm using my table saw and outfeed table for the table saw as a, as a bit of a workbench here. It works great for that. So the top piece, uh, the, the head piece, I think they call it, or the, the head, not the headboard, but the head piece of the frame, uh, it's a little taller than the uh, bottom piece, and that, that helps keep the mattress in place because that'll be on the bottom when the bed uh, lifts up. So I'm following the same procedure here, except what I decided to do this time, just to make it a little, a little better, I think, is I clamp the board first before drilling the pilot holes. And, and uh, I, th I think that's actually um, uh, better. You learn as you go on these things. Okay, I did the rest of that off camera. N now we're gonna work on the side pieces. And uh, you can see I drilled a little bit of a hole. It does not go all the way through. It, uh, it's a partial hole in the middle there. And, and that's where the leg will pivot to go uh, uh, to flip around when you lower the bed. So I'm rounding over the bottom of the bed and now I'm just sanding it to give it a nice smooth um, uh, edge all the way around. And I'll do the same thing uh, to the other side. That hole, again, I'm pointing it out there, that's where the uh, uh, foot, yeah, there we go. That's where the foot will, uh, will uh, go. There's a little bolt on the bottom and by drilling that hole, you're, you're hiding it. And that's pretty ingenious, I think. I think it's a good idea to keep things squared up as you go before I, uh, uh, drill for the holes, I, uh, I did that. No, so now here were two of the holes use the T-nuts and it gives it a lot more stability. And then the top two spots just use um, uh, wood screws. And the, again, the other side goes on exactly the same way. When I was doing this, I needed to make sure you're, you're, you're getting, they're not labeled, so you just need to make sure you're putting the, the right one on the right side and the left one on the left side. So now on the other end of this uh, bed, I, I need to drill all the way through for the pivot mechanism. And this is a hole that will go all the way through. Uh, this is where a lot of stress and weight is gonna be put on the bed. Um, it's a one inch hole. I clamped both pieces, the left side and the right side together uh, so I could get a nice, perfect hole through both of them at the same time in exactly the same place. I didn't want the bed to be sort of uh, tilted or skewed because I goofed up uh, drilling one hole different than the other. So I got them both in exactly the right place and the same place on, on each board. So you can see then how uh, that, that mechanism is gonna go. So here's that lower frame that the bed is gonna lay on. I got the sides uh, on, the hardware on and it's laying on top of uh, the two front pieces, the big pieces of plywood that were um, up against the wall when we first started. Now on top of this, before we're done, we'll put the quarter inch plywood that the mattress will sit on top of. So now we're gonna work on the sides of the uh, cabinet. So the, the platform is done. So you gotta drill a couple partial holes uh, where you can see I'm putting the upper plate on uh, right now. They don't go all the way through. They're just big enough to hide the bolt on, um, uh, so that bracket 
uh, the upper plate bracket uh, fits flush. You can see down at the bottom, uh, we have the pivot uh, mechanism. And again, that's a hole that's drilled part way through as well. And, and both of those brackets, that, that pivot bracket and the upper brackets, will use um, T-nuts as we assemble them, at least in a couple of places. So we had to drill the partial hole through, and it goes almost, not all the way through. You need to be careful when you do this that you don't actually drill out the other side because that would be visible on the outside cabinet. Those two points or holes right there are for the T-nuts. Um, uh, and that, that gives it uh, uh, a lot more stability. It, it works fine with only two, and that's what they have in the instructions. The other two holes are going to be wood screws. But there's a lot of weight on that. I think if it were me, I would have had all four be the 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 T nuts. Might not be necessary, but so we're um, just screwing in the T nuts here. I should mention that before I finished the bed, I took all the hardware back off, so it was a little easier to get the whole thing stained. And you can see there, I'm taking the uh, taking the plate off to do just that. So it'll be easier to uh, kind of pushing the T nut out so I can get it out. Okay, now we're moving up to the uh, the little door bumpers, and on the back of that, there's a little post, and that goes in the hole that's drilled there, and then it it has one screw hole. And I think this is a pretty critical uh, measurement to get just exactly right. Because when that door comes up, that's what stops it and holds the whole bed platform flush to the to the cabinet. And, and I was very particular about this, and I'm glad I did. Now again, on this big side panel, uh, if you have existing trim on your wall, you're going to need to measure and, and cut out for that. And, and I did that here. So I, um, I measured and then added about a sixteenth of an inch uh, to make sure that I cleared it. And that worked out pretty well in the end. There wasn't a big gap, but it, but it cleared it uh, uh, well. So we use a saber saw uh, to cut that out. You can see I was a little, little tiny bit off. I, I came back uh, afterwards and, and corrected for that. Okay, so that's the cut on the side panel. I sanded that down a little bit more uh, afterwards and it ended up being a, an actually a pretty good fit. Now there are a couple of big visible edges on the plywood, particularly the sides of the cabinet. So you need to dress that up. Um, the instructions recommend edge banding and that, that's what I did. I ordered a, uh, a 250 foot roll of maple edge banding, three quarter inch from Amazon. That was another 30 bucks. And I uh, applied it like you're supposed to with an iron. Um, there's quite a few videos on YouTube uh, around applying edge banding. And, and I used a little tiny plane, a little tiny hand plane to uh, uh, trim it. And then uh, I finished up uh, sanding it smooth here around the edges. And it actually worked out uh, pretty well. Okay, now it's time to work on um, the little assembly on the top of the cabinet. And it's basically, uh, you know, one wide piece of uh, three-quarter inch plywood. 
And then it has a couple of uh, 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 the front and the back are three inch wide, three quarter inch plywood. A second ago, I showed you I had two spacers uh, in three different spots underneath that top. They're each a quarter inch thick. And one on top of the other gives me a half an inch. And that raised that that uh, the top, the big piece, by a half an inch. So there's a bit of a, a half inch reveal when I screw the boards on the sides. Those front and back pieces are both glued and screwed uh, to the top piece. Okay, I stained all of the pieces uh, off camera and uh, I took them into the room where the Murphy bed's going to go. Now what you're seeing there are all the pieces for the cabinet that the bed folds up into. Two side pieces, the top, and then it's called the headboard, which is just a, a piece of plywood that screws between the two. And then on the floor here, I, I have the platform that the bed goes on. And you can see on top of it, the quarter inch pl uh, plywood was screwed on. So that's everything that it takes to do the bed. Now, here it is uh, uh, mostly assembled. I didn't show every step of this because if, as you look at it, it's actually quite simple that uh, the headboard piece just screws on the inside of the two side pieces and uh, the screw heads are visible on the outside but when you finally get done and trim it out that should be uh, uh, hidden. So now here's the bed mostly done um, and I say mostly because I'm going to trim it out a little bit. This is sort of the basic uh, construction um, included in the uh, DVD and instructions for the create a bed uh, kit. Um, but I'm going to put some uh, trim around the edges, maybe a little crown molding across the top. And after I do that, I'll, I'll post maybe a little short video on how it looks um, after the fact. I have to see, say that the bed was, uh, it's easy to lift up. It feels surprisingly solid. The headpiece uh, screws to the wall, and I screwed the headboard to the wall for some extra stability as well. I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Total cost, um, including all the materials and the kit, was about $600. I'll probably get another 50 or so uh, once I get the uh, final trim on. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe.